The mountains and fjords of Greenland preserved nearly four billion years of Earth's history. The story of tectonic activity, volcanic eruptions, primitive life and ice ages. During this vast period of time, through processes of continental drift, Greenland has journeyed from the southern hemisphere across the equator to reach its current polar position. For much of this time, Greenland has been integrally connected to both eastern Canada and Scandinavia, both active mining jurisdictions, and as a result, has experienced similar geological history and mineral potential. Mineral exploration began in the 17 to 1800s and gained momentum in the early 1900s when cryolite was mined in Ivichute and became increasingly active, steadily increasing profit until its closure in 1987. 3.7 million tonnes of ore was mined in the period, with an average content of 58% cryolite. Meanwhile, an attempt to mine copper in the area had been made in the 1850s at the Josper Copper Mine. From 1904 to 1915, 2,200 tonnes of ore was mined here, with an average grade of 3.5% copper. The equipment was later moved to Amitsok and southern Greenland for use in a new graphite mine until 1924. During the lifetime of the mine, 6,000 tonnes of ore at 21% graphite was mined underground and in open pit. Later still, 350,000 ounces of gold were extracted at the Nanalak gold mine, with average grades of 16 grams per tonne, making it one of the highest grade gold mines in the world. And until very recently, rubies were mined at Appletock and exported around the world. Today, Amarok stands at the forefront of the next phase of mining in Greenland, with over 6,000 kilometers squared of license area across southern Greenland. Our mining portfolio can be split into two parts, the high-grade Nanalak gold mine, which Amarok have been redeveloping and will return to production in the second half of 2024, and our exciting exploration assets spanning gold, copper nickel, PGMs and rare earth elements. Over the past four years, Amarok has undertaken significant work at Nanalak. We have developed a new and expanded resource through investing in 32 kilometres of new drilling, completed an EIA and SIA, and conducted more than 10,000 man days in the construction of a new 100 person plus mine camp, mineral processing plant, and new mine infrastructure, allowing new ore production. In the second half of 2024, Amarok will take Nanalag back into production, with initial plans to scale up to capacity of 300 tonnes per day and beyond. In Amarok's exploration division, we have exciting work programmes ongoing across a range of projects in South Greenland, from our strategic mineral projects at Stendalen, Zava, and Copper Meinberg to our gold projects at Begar and Nanok. We have a full cycle asset portfolio and aim to uncover the most exciting prospects across South Greenland. At Amarok, we're creating a new Greenlandic legacy through cash flow generation, feeding an exciting exploration portfolio towards positive social impacts and a supportive jurisdiction.